This lawsuit was filed last year in Delaware State Court. It alleges a series of brazen, fraudulent schemes, allegedly orchestrated by this man, Igor Kolomoisky, possibly the wealthiest man in Ukraine. His name even surfaced last year during congressional hearings into whether President Trump sought political favors from Ukraine. The lawsuit alleges Kolomoisky acquired hundreds of millions of dollars worth of U.S. assets, including major Cleveland real estate holdings, through money laundering and misappropriation of corporate loans from a bank he controlled. A co-defendant, Haim Scochette, was identified as a front man in the scheme to purchase and manage the Cleveland properties, becoming one of Cleveland's largest downtown landlords. Ukrainian actor Volodymyr Zelensky has achieved fame portraying a president in this TV show, which is broadcast on a channel owned by a man backing his real-life presidential campaign. Billionaire Ihor Kolomoisky has provided security, lawyers and vehicles for Zelensky. His bodyguard accompanied Zelensky on the campaign trail. The car Zelensky uses belongs to a company owned by one of Kolomoisky's companies. And Kolomoisky's lawyer is now working for Zelensky's campaign. When the results of the first round of the election became clear on March 31st, President Petro Poroshenko did not mince his words. Kolomoisky, filmed here in Switzerland in 2018, is an arch foe of Poroshenko and one of the richest men in Ukraine, with holdings in the metal, petroleum and media sectors. Kolomoisky continued his business activities, later moving to Switzerland. Zelensky travelled to Geneva in February 2018 to attend Kolomoisky's birthday party. In April 2019, RFERL asked Kolomoisky about his ties with Zelensky. But by checking flight records, RFERL discovered that after that birthday party, Zelensky flew to Geneva another 10 times. Furthermore, after Kolomoisky moved to Israel, Zelensky flew to Tel Aviv three times between October and December 2018. It's not clear if the two men met on these occasions. They both insist their relationship is professional and based on Zelensky's TV work.
Ukraine, I, I told him very honestly, and I was very open with him. I, I told him that we fight this corruption, we fight with this, fight each day, but please, please stop to say that Ukraine is corrupt, because from now it's, it's not true.